For this video, we're looking at nine new games released on Apple TV from January to June 2021. These games are compatible with Apple TV HD and Apple TV 4K first gen and second generation. Please note this list does not include Apple Arcade games. I have uploaded a separate video for that platform. Number nine is Moon Raider. Originally released in September 2020, Cascadia Games ported this 2D action platformer to Apple TV in January 2021. Why was it late? It was a technical hitch, that's it. In Moon Raider, you follow Ava, who is trying to save her mother on the moon. Ava must survive treacherous catacombs deep beneath the surface of the moon. Fight aliens that now rule the moon, face terrifying technology, daily traps and armed soldiers. Moon Raider also has couch co-op with the second player, being able to take control of the other character, Avery. Moon Raider costs $5.99. Number eight, we have Ammo Pigs, Cooked and Loaded. Cascadia have always brought their wacky 2D games to Apple TV, and I'm very thankful. This is another one, Ammo Pigs, Cooked and Loaded, the third game of the series. It takes place in 2049, and the pigs are continuing their fight against the Slaughterhouse AI. The major development with the story is that chickens have also been found alive, and you are on a mission to rescue them. The game is fully playable with your Siri remote too, but for the best experience, definitely use a controller. Ammo Pigs Cooked and Loaded costs only 99 cents. Number seven is Go Rally. To be fair, Go Rally was originally released on Apple TV back in 2016, but fell into disrepair with no updates. It was actually removed from the App Store entirely a while back. Well, in early 2021, Input Wish finally brought it back. Go Rally has loads of tracks, cars, a career mode, multiplayer time challenges, and a track creator. While the game is also available on iPhone and iPad, Go Rally is custom made for Apple TV. It offers pass and play gameplay, easy controls for either the Siri remote or a dedicated gamepad, and its visuals look great with a higher resolution and 16 by nine aspect ratio. Go Rally costs $2.99. Number six, we have Neon Beats. Neon Beats is a hardcore 2D platformer with rhythm-based levels. I absolutely love the art style here that mixes both a lack of color with neon lighting. The game contains nine different levels and on each one, the little block character is jumping for his life to defeat the song or bosses. What sets it apart from similar games is having the ability to respawn at checkpoints when you die. This means you can go back and complete a level without dying. Its major downfall is that it's quite short. If you're good at these sorts of games that require fast reflexes, you may be disappointed with how quickly you finish it. But I found it to be very challenging as my reflexes are terrible. Neon Beats costs $2.99. Number five is My Diggy Dog 2. Originally released on PC, console, and iOS in 2019, it wasn't until early 2021 that My Diggy Dog 2 arrived on Apple TV. The game is probably more aimed at children, but adults will have a fun time too. You follow a dog named Marty, who is on a mission to help his master find his wife and help the universe. It's both a platformer and a digger game. Explore dungeons, solve puzzles, use a variety of equipment, overcome foes and obstacles, and much more. My Diggy Dog 2 is free to try, with a full game unlock of $2.99. Number four, we have Bike Baron 2. Bike Baron is back, and unlike the first game, it now has an Apple TV version. In Bike Baron, you take control of a motorbike racer and will race on 50 adrenaline-filled tracks. 
The tracks contain all types of hazardous obstacles and mixed platforming and puzzle elements, in a much bigger emphasis than the original game. It also has a new and funny physics system for hilarious rides and especially accidents. It's not the most fleshed out game, but it's fun to play when you have some time to spare and it can take your mind off things. Bike Baron 2 costs $3.99. Number three is Hunt Down. Hunt Down is one of the best 2D action games available right now on Apple TV or any platform. It contains 20 levels of chaos where you blast your way across rooftops and highways to scary alleyways and casinos, all with the goal of taking down the criminal underworld. The game also supports two player couch co-op if you connect two controllers to your Apple TV. It's such a fun game to play with a buddy and it can be quite hilarious. Hunt Down is free to try with an in-app purchase to buy the full game for $8.99. Number two, we have SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. 3D platformer Battle for Bikini Bottom made a surprise release on Apple TV. Playing this game on Apple TV is definitely the best experience compared to iPhone and iPad as it provides a true console experience. In fact, handy games have optimized the Apple TV 4K version better than other consoles with full 1080p and 60fps support. It also has custom graphic options that you won't find on other platforms. So if you have an old Apple TV, you can scale down the resolution, quality, frame rate, and so on. I know it's based on a children's show, but the game has been targeted for all ages, and I strongly suggest it. Number one, we have Beach Buggy Racing 2 Island Adventure. Here we have the full console version of Beach Buggy Racing 2, only available on Apple TV. What you get here is an excellent kart racer, honestly on the same level as something like Mario Kart on Nintendo Switch. Play through adventure, the story mode, try out championships for multi-race trophy events, play a quick race or go into tournaments featuring cross-platform leaderboards. The game also has four player split screen. If you have an Apple TV 4K model, the game will play at 1080p, max settings and 60fps. Here are two upcoming Apple TV games. Titan Quest Legendary Edition will soon be coming to Apple TV. Handy Games recently confirmed this saying the game now uses CloudKit to make it compatible with the coming Apple TV version. Rush Rally Origins is a top-down racer that is expected to come to iPhone, iPad and Apple TV in August. Rush Rally 2 and 3 are also available on Apple TV, so it makes sense that this game will be too. What do you think of this list of new Apple TV games from the first half of 2021? Impressed or disappointed? Let me know in the comments. A short list? Yes. But this is to be expected as Apple TV is a very unknown gaming platform in the eyes of developers and especially you, the general public. It's honestly a miracle that we have so many high quality games this early on in the year, even if it's only 9. Anyway, leave a like to show your support and subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with everything Apple TV gaming related. My name is Stewie and thanks for watching.